study Arata. So if you're following us in this weekly series about learning, you probably realize that we're talking about self-esteem and confidence a lot. So if you'd like to become a better student, we need to be continuing this whole process of self-knowledge. We're going to create a list of the main symptoms that people usually have whenever they have difficulty in their studies. Take a look at this list. Anxiety. This happens when you're feeling insecure about your own abilities, you have questions about your own capacity, you feel that you're not able to deal with the challenges about learning, you feel a little bit in a hurry, that you don't have the right patience to be reading out those materials. It's like you don't have enough discipline or motivation to do those studies. Guilt and self-harm. Whenever you have a negative conversation with yourself, it's almost like a hypnotic, silent conversation. It's just can't think of anything else except that how incompetent you are, how lazy you are, how careless or useless you are when you're trying to do your studies. Take a look at our video of last week. You can go to arata.c forward slash study09 because it's a very important conversation with people who are feeling silly. Difficulty to focus. There are two problems about focusing that you have to check. The number one is quantity. That means that you're not spending enough time to be concentrated. This is uh, the ability to concentrate. You're spending very little time studying one thing. That is quantity. In addition to that, there is the quality of focus. Because you want to be paying attention on the activities that you can do. You can be growing. You can learn new things. You can become better. Low quality focus is when you're spending all day long thinking about the mistakes you made and how incompetent you are and how inadequate you are. You're having a lot of fears. You have a lot of questions about what's going to happen in the next exam. And you start to imagine all the difficult uh, challenges that you have because there are so many competitors that there are very few places for that particular job. So that's a low quality of focus. Basically, you're spending your time, you're spending your mind dedicated in ideas that are of very low quality, ideas that will not help you. If you're having problems, either with concentration or the quality of your focus, you can visit the link arata.se forward slash focus course. Make up excuses. You need to have a very clear vision of reality. You have to find the points where you need to improve. Be very careful with rationalization, the habit of creating excuses, because you can get very far away from reality when you are wondering about all the ideas that you have to justify yourself. You may say that you were not able to study better or to get a better grade because you had a tummy ache, because it was raining and you were afraid that maybe because of the traffic jam you would get late. Maybe indeed you were nervous, but be careful with the lies that come with that type of story. Maybe you're hiding the truth that basically you need to improve your study techniques. Protecting your ego. Well, here comes a true story. Many years ago, there was an acquaintance arriving in our group of friends and say, hey, you know, guys, I had an exam and I was drunk. So inside of this group of friends, it almost seemed like he was bragging because it was like, oh yeah, I don't care about my grades. I was drunk, did this exam, right? I went to parties, um, had a lot of fun. And then anyway, uh, I went, just went to the exam and I did what I was able to. So in this situation, what happens? If he fails the exam, that's a very good way to protect his ego because it's not that he didn't do a good study. He actually has such a cool life, a very bohemian life. And because of the effects of the alcohol and not sleeping and going to parties, that's why uh, the results in the exam were kind of uh, below the average. On the other hand, if he would have a good grade and have a good performance in that exam, that would be something very cool because even though he didn't study a lot, went to parties, was even drunk during the exam, well, the result was good. So again, it's a way to protect the ego. And as I said, that is a true story. And the acquaintance was myself. It was an old version of me. It was 
when I was very immature, uh, I was very um, childish, trying to protect my own ego. And there is something that kind of amazes me, because in the adult life, I see a lot of people, lots of adults, who behave in a very similar way. People who do everything they can to protect their own egos. And then they start to create stories, they are uh, rationalizing, creating all types of reasons why they are not doing a particular type of a study. So, deep inside, they are afraid of frustrating themselves, frustrating the image that they have about themselves and the image that other people have about them. So be very careful about um, doing things just because you're trying to protect your ego and not really because you're trying to improve your studies. If you're having difficulty in your studies, the first thing you have to do is to improve the level of clarity that you have about yourself. You should identify the sources of difficulty. It's only after you do that that you can have better choices to have better results. When you see all these symptoms that we listed here in this video, it will be time to make changes and improvements. And improvement is something that you can have with better strategies, better choices, more dedication, more patience, better materials to study, better mentors and teachers, and changes in your environment to study. And you can see all those tips inside of our course, How to Learn Faster, by going to the link, forward slash how to learn.